How's it going, cotton killers? All good? Nice one. Just bear with me a minute. There we go. Sorted. So, coming back at you today for another juice review. Uh, E-juice review. This one is uh, a juice from uh, Tilios, I believe it's pronounced. And it's Experiment 1. This is the bottle. Nice bottle. Nice label. And there's a little bit of a read up on the bottle. So I'm a little bit of a spiel, if, you, if you'd like. And I'm going to read it to you, just to let you know what it says. It's a little bit about this juice. So... In this bottle is a tiny piece of Tilios history. In 2013, before Tilios even had a name, we tried to create a cereal flavour that was reminiscent of both frosting and flakes. It didn't turn out as planned. In this bottle is the first Tilios flavour ever conceived. It is a little bit of corn, a little bit of pudding, and a heaping, a heaping pile of innovation. Our first experiment It is experiment one. Now this, I believe, is only available in 3 milligram nicotine. Um, doesn't say the the mix ratios on it, uh, but it seems to be relatively high. Um, I'd say perhaps a 70-30. Um, it's not super duper thick, but it's it, it's quite yeah, it's pretty thick. Uh, it retails at 17.50. Uh, which is where I purchased it from, which is um, number one ejuice.com. Uh, they do stock this, they've got it in stock right now, uh, along with a load of other uh, Telios flavours. Um, so, yeah, and they do have some bundle prices as well. So, so if you buy uh, a pack of three, you can save yourself some money. And so, yeah, getting onto a smell test of this stuff, as you can see, I'm um, I'm pretty much out of this stuff. I've already dripped on the RDA. Um, I've got enough in there to get a to get a whiff off. But I already know what this stuff smells of because, like I say, I've, I've vaped the bottle. Now I've had this bottle for a month, at least a month, I'd say. It's very sweet. This juice, very sweet. You get a very a very clear popcorn flavour and I mean it's identical to popcorn if you put some popcorn in the microwave to pop away and then you open that bag and stick your nose in that popcorn smell you get that straight away or at the cinema when you get the big bucket full and you can just like bang your nose in it and it's just like Whoa. you know that lovely popcorn smell that's in there that's what it smells like at the back this is where it gets a bit unusual for me. In the background, you get rice pudding, ambrosia, to be, to be exact on that one. <laughs> smells like ambrosia rice pudding with popcorn sprinkled on top. It smells, it, it smells unusual. It's something that I'm not used to. And you can you can smell the sweetness in it. You know you know it's going to be a sweet one. This one. So, uh, got this on the Snow Wolf 200, on some uh, Clapton's six, uh, dual 6 wrap, reading at 0.14 ohms, 100 watts. Let's give this a bit of, a, bit of vapor production and uh, taste test and see what's going on with this juice then, shall we? Get your, get your mods out, your devices out, and let's have a little vape. As you can see, the cloud vapor production is uh, very good off this stuff. I 
thick, very thick, dense clouds. Linger in the air, hang around, don't disappear straight away, which is always a good thing. Now, taste. Taste on this stuff is weird. It tastes like rice pudding with popcorn sprinkled on top. That's what it tastes like. It, it's, it tastes just like it, but there's a real sweetness coming through, and it's, it's it can be a bit overwhelming, which is why I've had this for a month, and I'm only just getting to the bottom of the bottle. It's because it's one of those, to me, that you can have a few pulls on, and then put it away, and then go back to it. It's not an ADV for me. It's too sweet, far too sweet. That popcorny taste can be a bit overwhelming. Um, it kind of, if you like, it spoils it a bit for me. It's it's too much. It's it's not subtle enough. I found with this stuff as well, it dries the hell out of my mouth. I mean, I need a drink already. It really dries you out. It gives you sticky lips. I found myself vaping this the other night in bed. And uh, I went to sort of swallow and my lips were stuck together. So, I uh, yeah, I got myself in a bit of a pickle. It's okay. It's it's not it's it's not a bad juice. I don't want to say this is a bad juice. There's a lot worse juices out there than Experiment One. Trust me, a lot worse. But it's not amazing. I've tasted a lot better. If they were going for a cereal blend and it's come out like this, to me, if a cereal vape is what you want, there's ones out there that beat the shit out of this juice. Absolutely wipe the floor with it. It's very sweet. If you've got a sweet tooth, you might like it. But that, like I say, that popcorn taste, it can become too much. It's overwhelming. Um, if they would have mellowed that out a little bit and maybe put pulled some more of the rice pudding taste through and lowered the sweetness, I think this would have been a clear winner for me. I can see why it was an experiment. So... Uh, that being said, that's pretty much all I've got for you on this one, guys. Um, please subscribe, like, share and comment uh, if uh, anyone wants to get hold of me for uh, anything, really. Uh, my email address is lungpunchkid at gmail.com. Uh, questions, anything like that, I'll uh, do my best to help you out. And, yeah, um, I hope you're all having a good one. I hope you're all uh, staying off them stinkies and keeping on with the vaping. It's all it's doing us all good, you know that. And uh, yeah, I'll try and get some more decent juice your way and uh, keep you off the crap stuff. So yeah. Keep it clean, my cotton killers. Real clean. <laughs>